The surface currents around Trinidad are governed by the North Equatorial Current and the South Equatorial Current. Current speeds and directions vary only slightly with the seasons and generally set west or northwest. The greatest local variations in the current pattern result from winds and storms. The South Equatorial Current enters the Caribbean Sea setting in a west-northwesterly direction at a rate of 3 knots. The ocean current divides off the southeast coast of Trinidad, with one part setting north along the east coast and the other part, west toward Serpent's Mouth. The ocean current divides off the southeast coast of Trinidad, with one part setting north along the east coast and then west into the Caribbean Sea. Off the north coast, the current is strongest from July to October, with speeds ranging between 1.5 and 2 knots. The ocean current divides off the southeast coast of Trinidad, with one part flowing west along the south coast into the Gulf of Paria, and then north. In Serpent's Mouth, current rates of 2 to 3 knots have been observed in March and April. Part of the South Equatorial Current flows west along the south coast into the Gulf of Paria and then north finally emerging through Dragon's Mouth. Close offshore within the Gulf, they may be reversed or offset by local tidal currents. Close offshore along the north coast, the ocean current may be reversed or offset by local tidal currents. East of Grand Riviere Bay, these setting tidal currents are overcome by west currents setting through the Galleons Passage. Close inshore, between Grand Riviere Bay and Chupara Point, the Easterla tidal current sets along the coast for the last two hours of the ebb and sometimes for the whole duration. The Easterla tidal current is always prevalent west of Chupara Point. The current increases in strength and its direction becomes more northerly as Entrada Point is approached. The rate of the Westerla tidal current decreases as Entrada Point is approached, but is greater offshore than near the coast. River discharges from the eastern part of Venezuela exert considerable influence on coastal water movements on the north coast, especially during the rainy season. The same is true of the water flowing into the Gulf of Paria during the rainy season, through Serpent's Mouth and out of Dragon's Mouth. The rate of the currents at such times may range from 2 to 2.5 knots. Exiting Dragon's Mouth, the current turns west when it joins the current from the north coast. The ocean current and the freshwater discharge from the tributaries of the Rio Orinoco enter the Gulf through Serpent's Mouth and control the general water movement within the Gulf. During the flood season of the Rio Orinoco, from May to October, fresh water flows in abundance into the Gulf from these tributaries. It dilutes the scene making the surface water almost fresh and directs the currents toward the northernmost entrance. Rates of 2 to 3 knots have been observed in March and April. During the rainy season, the strength of the current is probably greater by reason of the increased outflow from the Orinoco system. Off Punta de Arenal, the surface currents set constantly northwest at a rate of 1 to 3 knots and slacken at about the time of low water. A strong southeast undercurrent has been observed to set below a depth of 9 meter. At the same time, a southwest current of yellowish muddy water, in contrast with the usual olive green northwest current, makes its appearance off Corral Point and passes south round the point, sometimes reaching as far as Wolf Rock. Vessels lying at anchor off Corral Point usually swing with their bows to the north until two to three hours after low water. In Middle Channel, about halfway between Punta del Reno and Soldado Rock, the currents set northwest at 1.5 knots and the tidal currents northeast and southwest at 0.8 knot. The northeast currents run for about five hours after the time of high water at Georgetown, Guyana. Off the northernmost entrance of the Gulf, the northerly and northwesterly tidal currents attain rates of 2 to 3 knots according to the season and the strength of the current and water levels of the Orinoco system. Between July and October, the influence may be felt 15 to 20 miles offshore. The water in the Gulf for several miles outside this entrance has a muddy appearance and in October the water becomes reddish in color. From November to June, the tidal currents have more effect as the ocean current is then reduced, but they are at times variable due to various river levels. Strong rips occurring Boca Grande in the area of Isla Patos. In Boca de Navios, the southerly flood current seldom exceeds one knot. The northern ebb, accelerated by ocean currents, attains rates of 2.5 to 3.5 knots. In Boca de Huevos, 
The northerly ocean currents are seldom offset by the S flood currents, except on the eastern side of Huivos Island. The ebb current retains a rate of 3 to 4 knots, and even as much as 5 knots in the rainy season. In Boca de Manos, there is no southerly current during the flood. Rates of 2 to 3 knots are attained during the northerly ebb current. The opposing tidal and ocean currents produce strong ripples, which from aloft may be seen extending in long curved lines for several miles outside the gulf, gradually approaching the entrance as the southerly flood increases its strength. In the entrance, these ripples often become a race, dangerous to boats. In Boca Grande from July to October, the southerly tidal current runs for four hours at springs, but its rate seldom exceeds 0.5 knot as the northerly ocean current is then at its maximum strength, augmented by the influx of the swollen Orinoco system. During this period, the northerly tidal currents, accelerated by the ocean currents, run for 8 hours at a rate of 2 to 3 knots. The Rimu is a current effect that arrives in Shiguaramas Bay between 30 minutes and 1 hour after local low water and runs for 20 to 30 minutes. It is irregular in occurrence and erratic in rate, varying between 1 and 5 knots. In general, the surge is strongest in July and August and weakest in January through March, though maximum rates can occur at any season. As soon as the Rimu has dissipated, the tidal current settles to its normal rate. On the eastern side of the Gulf, the tidal currents from Dragon's Mouth and Serpent's Mouth meet just east of Brighton, but they are irregular. To the northeast of a line extending northwest from Punta del Reno, the currents are affected by the tides, both in direction and strength, and are irregular until northeast of Los Gallos Point. 